Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology, this time with a unit on the Cochrane's Q test. Like the McNamara test, with the Cochrane's Q test I work with dependent or paired samples. Different to the McNamara test where I compared only two different variables or two different samples, with the Cochrane's Q test I can compare any number of uh, different samples of different variables. So in this case here I will go through the example with only the same two ones as with the McNamara test, but I could basically extend this to in the beginning, after a certain period, after two periods, after three periods, and for a lot of different variables. So it's more or less an extension of the McNamara test. However, as with the McNamara test, the variables I compare are dichotomous variables, so 0, 1 variables. So here, as I said, we go with the same idea. So with would you buy this product before being showed some additional information on the product and would you buy the product after being showed some additional information. The command itself can be found under Analyze and then per non-parametric tests and either here with related samples or with the legacy dialogues under K related samples. In this case we run the older version first, so we go with K related samples. Then down here we see Cochrane's Q and we can select our two variables, our two dichotomous variables. We click on OK. Here we directly get the result of our test. And in this case we see the significance is way larger than 5%, meaning in this case we cannot reject our H0 hypothesis. So in this case we need to assume that both of the variables share the same distribution. So this is the first version. The second version would be, as I said, with non-parametric tests and related samples, where in the second field I would select the variables I want to compare, the two samples I want to compare. In the third field I can click here on Customize Tests and then click here on Cochrane's Q. So in this case we see McNamara 2 samples, Cochrane's Q K samples, so any number 2 or larger. If I click then on OK, we see we get the exact same significance level. Again, retain the H0 hypothesis, the null hypothesis. And here it's the distributions of would by before and would by after are the same. So we need to assi assume that both samples, both variables share the same distribution. Well, it would have looked like exactly the same if I had more than two different samples. Well, this then already concludes this short session on the Cochrane's Q test. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And, well, if you want to see more of this type of videos, feel free to visit the rest of this SPSS methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.